Well, Sariki, let's start by talking about that goal. You've won the, the Goal of the Month award for August for, for League One. The Luton goal, talk us through it. You, you got down, bounced back up again. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically um, we were counter-attacking and um, I was throwing a goal and I thought, um, you know, I got fouled. So, uh, but then the ball was right there, so I thought I'd get up and continue my run and, and score. And the look on the Luton defenders' faces afterwards, it was disbelief. Yeah. Where, where have you got back up from? <laughs> Um, yeah, like I said, everyone thought it was a foul, so everyone just kind of stopped. Um, but I, I thought I could get it in, so I just continued the play and, and went and scored. I don't think I've ever seen a goal quite like it, where you've gone on that run, bounce up <laughs> straight again, and then and then the finish as well is is yeah. top draw as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm glad I scored that goal. Yeah. And I guess it was revenge for not being uh, given the Rochdale goal. Is that what it was? You, oh, were, you yeah. were angry. Yeah, yeah. I remember that actually. Yeah, um, the free kick. Yeah, where Matty Gordon scored. Yeah. As long as we all score and um, you know help the team, uh, that's the most important. Yeah, a couple of goals for you, a few assists as well from free kicks. Thinking about Doncaster with Ryan Tafazzoli's header, of course a couple of free kicks that you scored from at South End as well. You enjoy being involved quite so much with those goals at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. You know, um, when you're on set pieces, you you got to deliver, and and hopefully I can do more of that sometimes. Yeah. Talk me through the first one at Southend because I feel really bad because in commentary I, I thought you were going to go high. So I was expecting it to go high yeah. and it obviously went low into Jason Cummings' chest. He chested it down. Yeah. Matt Godden scored. Yeah. All intentional? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, you know, uh, just try and change it up sometimes. Um, luckily, Jason got onto it and then um, uh, Goddard was there to finish it off. Mm. Yeah. And how much are you enjoying playing in this, in this team at the moment? Oh, it's amazing. Um, everyone's just you know, enjoying it and everyone's getting on so well. So uh, we're just taking every day as it comes and then, um, you know, see where it takes us. You, you came with a, a big headline from the chairman in terms of how exciting he thought you'd be. Did that place extra weight on your shoulders when you arrived? Um, not, re not really. Um, sometimes, you know, big expectations. I, I like it, you know, I like the pressure. Um, but I don't, I don't think about it. I just like to take every day as it is. Sometimes it will be bad, sometimes it will be good. Um, we're all human. Um, but I just like to you know, enjoy myself and, and play football. I love playing football, so uh, whenever I get the opportunity to do so, um, I like to do so. You talked about the strong start you had to last season at Grimsby, and then by your own admission, it may be tailed off throughout the, the campaign. Is that the challenge for you this year, to get that consistency throughout? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's uh, one big thing for me. Um, but uh, I, I don't think about it because, like I said, what's supposed to happen will happen. So I just take every day as it comes. But um, I'll work hard to, to get better every single game. And this team's really good, so um, that helps me a lot as well, you know. Um, when you've got good players around you, it helps you, you know, get better and get better all the time. So, yeah. What area of your game would you say you're improving on most at the moment then? Um, I would say the defensive side of the game, uh, when we've not got the ball, um, the shape to be in and everything, and tracking back, helping the full back. I think that's what I'm improving on more mm. now. Yeah. I, d d as, as a flair player like you going forward, it probably doesn't come naturally, does it? You have no. to really work hard at it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, um, most of the times, I could forget and uh, the gaffer, you know, he'll scream and then... Yeah, I, you'll I, hear I, him. Yeah, <laughs> and then I switch on. Because um, obviously I don't think about that side of the game because I'm always thinking um, forward. But then, uh, obviously, when we've not got the ball, you know, I have to switch on and think about that side of the game and help the team out. I guess when you were a young lad, practicing the skills and the tricks is what you did. It wasn't necessarily running back, yeah. pretending you were defending. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I'm always trying to, you know, um, it's, it's, what I, it's what I love doing, you know, so um, I try to have fun with it, yeah. yeah. And having the manager constantly in your ear to remind you is good, but you'll hope there's a time when you think, yeah. before he yeah. starts speaking to you, right, I've got to track back. Yeah, yeah, so um, before he says it, I'll just go into position and then, you know, so uh, it just stops them saying it. Mm. Yeah. And what's the atmosphere like ahead of the Portsmouth game? Because it's early in the season, but a top of the table clash nonetheless. Both unbeaten, both getting great results. And it's set to be a bumper crowd as well. Yeah, no, it's, um, the atmosphere is really great. Um, everyone's really excited for it, you know. Um, we're working hard this week uh, towards the game. Um, but we're just trying to keep, you know, a lid on it and just stay calm and... You know, it's another game. It's another game. Obviously, it's a big one, but um, we'd like to to go out and win again.
and the fact that there might be some fans through the doors for the first time this season with the increased crowd, does that play into your mind? Do you want to make sure that they're coming back? Because it's all important, isn't it, as a football club? Yeah, definitely it is. Um, but uh, we've just got to keep doing what we've been doing. Um, that's all you can hope for and that's all you can do, really. Mm. And what, whatever happens uh, takes care of itself. Great stuff.